All of us who've been watching television this long election season don't need a study to tell us, but one does, that there were more negative campaign ads this year than any year on record. But the noble founding fathers remind us tonight that we can pull out the attacks and then pull together. Here's John Berman. The demon sheep, the devilish drinks, Crazy juice. the downright emasculation. Man up. Man it's been up. bad, right? It's getting nasty out there. Candidates have taken dirty to a whole new level. A new level? Like this one? Campaign of almost unequaled rancor. This one? This is the dirtiest campaign in history. Or this one? This year's campaign is shaping up as the dirtiest since it It turns out we've been doing dirty for hundreds of years. Vote 84, 1884. One of the favorite slogans? Ma, ma, where's my pa? That was hurled at Grover Cleveland who had a child out of wedlock. 1828, supporters of John Quincy Adams put out pamphlets saying Andrew Jackson's mother was a prostitute, his wife a bigamist, and that Jackson himself a murderer. 1800, John Adams versus Thomas Jefferson. Reason TV produced ads based on actual rhetoric from the day. John Adams is a blind, bald, crippled, toothless man. If Thomas Jefferson wins, murder, robbery, rape, adultery, and incest will be openly taught and practiced. The fact of the matter is, if you think Campaign 2010 is epically, unprecedentedly uncivil, you might just have to... Man up, Harry. Yes, vote 2010 might be unseemly, unoriginal... I will not yield... Uninspiring... Hell no, you can't! But one thing it is not is un-American. John Berman, ABC News, New York.